whenever I take something apart like this that probably never been apart, it's, it's quite nice um, knowing that the last person to do anything to it was to put it together all that time ago. While picking his way through the components, Steve thinks he's found what could be the issue with the faulty clockwork. Right, so this is not pulling out straight away, which means probably that the pivot is uh, pretty worn. So you see how black that pivot is. I take that dirt off. You can see that the pivot is actually badly, badly worn. So I'm going to have to um, turn that down and um, put a new bearing in. How this clock was ever going, I don't know. It's absolutely full of black grease. I think someone's been pouring oil onto it as well to try and get it going. Right, well, I've just got to give it a, 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 a thorough good clean through now, um, repair that pivot, and I think it's going to be absolutely fine. This should just lift out now. Good. Well done. Right, I'm just going to put all the bits and pieces in uh, the cleaning fluid. With his hands full with the mechanism, Steve needs help if he's going to weather this storm. And having delivered the rocking horse safely back to its owner, Will is just the man for the job. Got a little job for you to do here. This is a barograph case. And um, basically, I'd like you to refinish the box. So a bit of TLC. Yeah, it's an easy job for you. Yeah, OK, leave it with me and I'll give it a, I'll give it a bit of clean and a polish. OK, bro, cool. thank you. Yes. Now the pieces of the barograph mechanism have had time to soak in clock cleaning fluid. After a quick scrub with some wire wool, they're as good as new. That's made a difference. That's come up really well. The main reason why it was stopping was one of the pivots is very, very worn. Right, just pop it into the, uh, the lathe. The pivots are the little posts that hold the wheels in place as they rotate. If they are damaged, the wheels won't line up properly and power the mechanism. So Steve is going to reshape the tiny pivot. Now, because I've taken some metal off of that pivot, if I were to, to put it into the, the hole that it's supposed to go into, it, it's just loose. It rattles around in there and, and could well stop the clock. So what I need to do is find the right size bush for it. So this is a ready-made bush, tiny piece of brass with a hole already drilled in it. I've got to drill out the plates so that this will push in friction tight, really, really tight, and make sure it's the right size for that pivot. So I'm going to put the bush in now that's sitting over the hole now, and I'm just going to press it in. And that's it. I'm just going to make sure that it actually spins nice and freely in the plates. So that's spinning beautifully now. So the clock's all ready to give it its final um, clean up, and uh, I'll put it together and it'll work. <laughs> 